All right. That takes us now on to Chapter 2, Fuel of War. Megatron commands his newest recruit, Starscream, to activate the Long Dormant Energy Bridge on Cybertron. Once activated, he will create more Dark Energon to fuel his war. Let's do this. So, here now we have access to, of course, the three flyers. Starscream, Thundercracker, Skywarp. Uh, it's worth noting that... Uh, where is it? Uh... Huh. Ah, there it is. Thundercracker comes equipped with an Energon Repair uh, Ray. But if you're playing in single player, your allies don't ever go down. So it's kind of pointless to ever play Thundercracker. So you're better off just either picking Skywarp or uh, Starscream. Uh, hover in air, increase damage from weapons. So he has the same thing Megatron has. He pushes enemies back and causes damage, though. Oh man, though. Actually, despite what I just said, I'm going to actually give Thundercracker a run because he can spawn a sentry. I don't think he does that on his own. The only downside, though, is if you do play Thundercracker, if you're not playing Thundercracker, he can sometimes use the energy repair ray to heal you, even if he's an AI. to prove themselves worthy of the Decepticon name. Starscream and his minions fly to Cybertron. There, they must reconnect the Energon Bridge that will enable Megatron to manufacture more Dark Energon and conquer the Autobots once and for all. Your orders are clear, Starscream! Infiltrate the Cybertron underground! And reactivate the Energon Bridge. I want that power online. Megatron, Thundercracker has detected several Autobots up ahead. Jetfire must have warned Zeta Prime and moved to intercept us already. Enough of your whining. If the Autobots try to stop you, crush them. Report back to me when you have found the bridge. Megatron out. That imbecile thinks I'm expendable. Me? He'll soon learn never to underestimate Starscream. I'm glad to see Starscream not five minutes into turning traitor for the, uh, traitor has already decided to turn traitor. Ready to lend a hand. Uh, okay, he's got the inner gun array. So this really ain't gonna help me because I can't use it, so I'm gonna swap it out for the shotgun. And then I just realized the uh, irony of trying to jump up here when I can literally fly. What is that? An Autobot probe. We should avoid it to prevent detection. There we go. Blew it up. Oh yeah, I forgot, all the jets have infinite ammo. Sorry, Skywarp, but go fuck yourself. Truthfully, I don't really know much about the personalities of Thunderca Thundercracker and Skywarp. I feel like everyone knows Starscream out of the Flyers, but I don't really know all too much about Skywarp or Thundercracker. It's an enemy detection barrier, so it's a trap. Just so it's a trap. To think their measly tricks could ever full star scream. The power conduits along the floor should direct us to its power source. The 
power core has to be somewhere in this room. Which it says it's over there. Uh, oh, no, wait. Here we go. So you can go through this entire level, just run through those. You'll just have to fight more enemies. But there is an achievement for uh, getting around it without getting a detect detected. And it really isn't that hard to do. I would like to report Decepticon activity. It's me. Starscream, it has been five seconds. You figure it out. Uh, let's see. I'm actually trying to figure out how to do this one. You got the answer? What? What? What is it? I'm not telling you. I see it as well. Play this day. Right in front of us. You don't really see it, do you, Starscream? I do like their banter, though. That's pretty funny. I can see the idea of where it's supposed to be. Ah, here we go. Looks like every other part of the fucking wall. Here we go. There you go, sentry turret. Fire! Actually, playing at Skywarp might be worth it just for that turret. Because I'm sure that... Because I know for a fact they don't really use their powers either, which is kind of a crying shame. It might actually be worth it to play Thundercracker just for that turret. I don't know. Oh, I'm out. Hi. Goodbye. Kind of wish it wasn't so gray in here, if I'm going to be honest. Like, aside from the neon purple of, the, of their kind of, like, color schemes and stuff, you almost can't tell the Decepticon, the flyers apart. I mean, you can kind of tell that's supposed to be Starscream, but it's like, dude, fucking zoom away from Thundercracker and Skywarp and tell me that you can try, that, the, that you can kind of tell the difference. Okay, you can see more of the purple on Skywarp and the blue on uh, Thundercracker, but God, I wish it was more colorful. Jesus Christ. Okay, no. Post punks locked 
us out! Stop whining and find another way in! I found another way in! Crude energy okay. is highly volatile, and flying this close to it is very dangerous. We should proceed with caution. Tighten your logic circuits, would you, Thundercracker? It can't be that bad. Oh, hey! Yeah! It was an achievement for finding all the uh, Autobot and Decepticon symbols across the two different campaigns. I don't know where the hell they all are, as noted by the fact that it says I've only found five of them. And I've played this game like three times. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Are we where are we where we need to be yet? Apparently not. Uh oh. Oh, this is a bad place to be. Take care of those sentry turrets. There we go. And now. Yeah, with those sentry turrets out of the way, now we can land and actually deal some damage. Alright, that went pretty well. All things considered, at least. Oh, that can't be good. Nope, it's not look good. That looks like a boat full of Autobots. Oh boy, with a cannon. Oh no, that's a shield projector. Oh no, those are cannons though. Can do. This thing is as crazy as I am. Just blast it. Breaks like everything. Skywarp's supposed to be insane or something? I go okay. Now while you guys deal with him. I am currently take there we go. That's the mortars taken care of. Oh, there are more mortars. Great. Oh, come on. Reload. Reload. There we go. Whoa. God, why are there so many mortars? Good thing they can just dodge roll out of the way. There we go. Excellent. Now target the aerial bots. I'll show them some real flying. These aren't the aerial bots. Here comes another wave. 
God. More reinforcements. Uh. The there we go. Yeah, just remember, we're not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with us. Uh-oh. Here you go, enjoy this guy. Oh god, you shotgunners are a pain in the ass. I just remembered I have my own shotgun. Initiating weapon cooling. Heads up, the seven guns. I'm glad that just froze in the air. Ow. Oh god. Oh, thank you, Starscream. I've never I have never wanted to say that more in my entire life than I do right now. Oh. Fuck you. Don't mind me. Bombs away. You always do. Uh, poor Skywarp. All right, then. John nearby? No? Okay. Now, oh, stun grenades? Come on. Oh, shield. I'll take that. Did you see that? that? You mean that Look creepy good? looking thing that just jumped over the side? Yeah. Nope, I didn't see anything. I should have left you two on the station. <laughs> did, did you see that? You mean the creepy looking thing that just jumped over the side? Yeah! Nope, didn't see a thing. Uh... Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.